To help make sense of what has happened, I am fortunate to be able to meet with journalist Jacqueline Keeler. Jacqueline is both Navajo and Yankton Dakota Sioux, and has written extensively about both Bears Ears and Standing Rock. You know, Trump strength, Bears Ears. What can we take from it as Native people? I think that what Trump highlights is that it really begins to give stark evidence of what we all know, which is there's two different systems in operation here in this country. So yes, it's a victory for the ultimate colonial ruler. This is what we're fighting. The colonial mindset, the Mormons feel like they have rights even greater than that of actual Native people who have lived there for thousands of years. They want their rights as colonial victors to do whatever they want to the land, whatever they think is best, and that's what they're fighting for, right? But it also is waking up more Americans so they can finally see what we've been talking about, what we experience as, as brown people, as native people, as people of color. Do you see struggles like this as something that's going to help in the long run? And are they victories or are they losses? I think us being here is a victory, yeah. you know, because they wanted to get rid of us. Right? Yeah. They represent hope, you know. I look at our people standing up and I'm proud of them, you know, that they can do that still. Do you think that Bears Ears is another important political moment for Native people? I think with Standing Rock, we got a lot more Americans aware of Native Americans on an issue that many more of them could understand and support that was monumental. I mean, a study came out recently that showed that 71% of Americans never have ever searched, researched anything on Native Americans ever. But Standing Rock was, was the exception. So the focal point of an argument that's going on between not only uh, Native people and government, but also between um, Americans, which is what kind of country do we want to be? Yeah. We need to continue to indigenize Americans and, uh, and to, to expose them to our cultural ideas. And those cultural uh, ideas only exist in our traditional communities, communities like around Bears Ears and Standing Rock. We need to protect our communities, protect our water. Um, water is life, and we need to protect these sacred sites that feed us um, um, spiritually and emotionally and, and tell us who we were, where we came from, what our stories are. If you're a good person, this isn't ethical, what's going on right now. I mean, our people have the worst outcomes of any group in the United States, you know, any ethnic racial group, you know, highest suicide rates, highest murder, rape. On any scale, we have the worst outcomes. And so, you know, this is the price of the American dream, and we're paying it right now today. It's happening now. And, you know, if you are who you say you are, you're a good person, what are you going to do about this? And I think that's the question every American should ask themselves.